Yes, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Warzone Jones. We're right back at you with a pro wrestling related topic video. And you know, I want to talk about those wrestlers, those pro wrestlers who have won the world championship not once, not twice, not three times, but about four, five, you know, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, you know, eleven, twelve, thirteen, you, multiple times. I'm talking about up to the point where it got old and boring. Have you ever felt that way for a wrestler? Them winning a the championship so many times has just gotten old and boring. To me personally, if you win a world championship in a short amount of time, especially within like three to maybe about four years, and you win that championship about ten times or eleven or twelve, you winning the championship has just gotten old and boring. It really, really has. There are just some world champions, uh, excuse me, world, some world champions that won the world title over 12 times, 13 times. You know, Ric Flair, you know, one of the greatest of all time, but he's won that world championship 16 times. There are champions in real, actual sports, such as basketball, football, baseball, who hasn't even won the championship, nowhere near close to that. Um, not that it's not possible for uh, someone to actually win the championship that, that that many times in actual sports, but you know when you win a world world championship, especially in something that's not an actual sport, this is entertainment. Let, let's be honest here. So if these guys brag about winning a world championship that many times outside of pro wrestling, a person will probably look at them and say, "Yeah, but it's pro wrestling. It's fake, basically." But it's like this. I remember when Triple H was like in evolution around this time, around like 2004 or 5. He was like the biggest heel ever in the history of the business. Like he, he definitely was like the best heel. And I remember him just constantly winning his title match. I remember him constantly winning the championship. I mean, it's like if he lost, okay, well, guess what? Two months later, he was going to get that world championship back. And if he lost again, guess what? About three months later or four months later, he was going to get that world championship back again and i remember like that just constantly kept happening i remember him constantly just winning around this time and just constantly getting title shots and just winning the championship over and over again and it got to the point where it was like you know something i don't want to see another triple h long title run ever again not even a short one i even felt that way about john Cena because it, it got ridiculous with him too he won the world championship what, how, what is he, like a 15-time world champion? He's now a 15-time world champion. But that's because at some point, you know, there, they was playing a hot potato with the championship. And he just kept getting the championship on a regular basis. Like, it was, like, ridiculous. I remember they did it with Edge, too. I also felt that way with Edge. Edge, although I'm definitely a big fan of Edge, but Edge, I remember won the championship, I think maybe like four times in one year, I think one time, and it got old and boring. You know, when you win the championship that many times, it's like, okay, well, it's the same old shit. I mean, let's be honest here. The world championship is definitely the biggest prize in whatever pro wrestling company that you're in. It, like, it, it is. So it's the championship that you want. I get that. I know that. But, after a while, winning that world championship, seeing that same wrestler win a world championship on multiple times can get old and boring. It really has. And they overdo it sometimes. So they overdid it with Randy Orton like that also well because he's, he's a 10-time world champion. Um, Randy Orton, Triple H, Edge, and John Cena, I would say, within recent memory, those were the guys who were like hop, playing hot potato with the championship and was just constantly getting world title wins and world title matches. Like they said, F everybody else, we're just going to get you guys in the world title and we're going to have you guys play hot potato with the championship and just pass it around. Just say, yeah, it's my turn. It's my three months. Your turn. It's your four months. Your turn. Oh, wait, you're going to give it back to me? Okay. Now I'm, I'm going to go an extra three months. Like, hopefully you get my point there. So I think that is boring sometimes. Um, I was glad that John Cena didn't win that world championship uh, for, for 16 times in a row because him getting world titles is just old and boring. It really is. So, those are just my opinion on a person who wins the championship 
upon multiple times because that can get old and boring real quick. Now, this is Welcome Jones. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel. I'm out. Deuces.